Yeah, it's a big weekend. Um, it's nice to have a home final this weekend. I think we've worked hard, hard the, the last back end of the season. We started very poorly and uh, I think the boys are pretty wrapped to have a home final this weekend and um, hopefully get a nice crowd out there and get the supporters to get around us and uh, hopefully we can get a win up. You've played each other obviously twice during the season and I think it might be one win each way. Um, how do you reckon you'll shape up? Ah, hoping we'll get the win, yeah, um, that'd be nice. Uh, we've had a nice, nice uh, hard week on the track, a uh, big turnout from the boys. So, um, yeah, we've done the hard work and now we've just got to turn up and play. Um, I think we've, last two times we've played them, we've, we've played probably two or three quarters. Um, down at Commandy, we, we played some good footy in the first half and really got the jump on Signet and then um, just didn't show up in the second half and they ran, ran away with the game. And, yeah, we can't afford that lapse, uh, especially in finals, especially against a good side like Signet. They'll make us pay, and um, yeah, hopefully we can keep that four-quarter effort up uh, in intensity, and we can get the points. Well, get the win. Who do you see as some of your danger players from Signet? Uh, the guy sitting over there is obviously their general, Benny Cato. Um, he just directs them off half back well, and uh, really rallies the troops. Um, so if we can get under his skin a little bit and. Um, Kind of try and limit his uh, his effective use of the footy and um, yeah, Ben Holton up forward as well. Um, we'll put Jake Murphy on him and and probably swing a few blokes in front of him as well. So if we can limit him, um, if he can go go goalless, I think it'll it'll go a long way to us winning the game. Very good. Um, there's one player that I've noticed regularly beating better players for season, Alaya Reedon. How do you rate him? Uh, is he a midfielder? I'm not. Uh, I couldn't tell you to be honest. Uh, he's a young, talented player. Um, wears number 44. In 40. Zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, he's a very flashy player. Um, he's, he's probably their spark. Um, so, yeah, obviously he, he can do a lot of things that will get the team up and about. And, and that's pretty crucial in finals is um, momentum. So... Yeah, we'll try and limit him running and jumping at the footy, try and take his body out. Um, yeah, he can obviously kick a few few uh, Larry goals, and if, if he does that, the boys will obviously get around him. And So we'll try and try and limit that for sure, yeah. Yep. Obviously, same two teams played off in last year's uh, mm. elimination final, um, different venue this year. So pretty crucial um, turnaround this year to be able to host the final, we last year the away yeah. team. What will be the difference from last year's team into this year's team? Um, just... Obviously, I wasn't there last year. I don't know too much about the rivalry, but um, I think, look, I think the boys are more keen to rectify last week's loss, to be honest. I think we thought we should have probably won that game. Credit to Huonville, they came back and um, never never were out of the game. And um, so I think, you know, when you when you lose a game under, under a kick, you always feel a bit dirty on, your, on yourself. So, um, and I think that the margin was pretty similar last year with the Signet final. I think it was a kick and a half or a kick. So those games always stick with you. You know, you always think about them for a few days afterwards. So I think a lot of the boys would probably probably be keen to rectify that. And, and obviously, I think it's massive being a home game this year. So um, that should should hopefully do us a big favour and um, yeah, go a long way to win the game for us. David Hunt, valuable addition yeah, to this absolutely. year's team for finals. Yeah, he's been one of the key turnarounds to our team. I think this year, um, not only his, his leadership on on field. Um, but but swinging him down back has been been massive as well. He's been just a cool head down there and really, um, yeah, he's a general down there for us and really directs our team from from the back. Um, really sets us up well. So yeah, he, he's been invaluable this year. Uh, Simon Kennedy, how's he travelling since his return? Yeah, he's been massive as well. Really sparked the boys. I think they were pretty happy to have him back. He's he's a pretty likable character down at uh, down at Dodgers, so um, yeah, he, he's massive. His running carry for us has really turned us around too. I reckon in the second half of the season, he's he's a very attacking footballer, a very positive footballer, and that's um, yeah, that's massive for us. And it really helps out us forwards when we when we see him running towards us. We know he's going to run and carry and kick it long to us and um, give us that one on one opportunity. So yeah, yeah, no, the the boys are looking pretty good. I think we're unchanged. I think for the first time this year, maybe under my coaching. So. It's positive that we've got a consistent side for once. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be a tough task down there. Last year with the home final against them, probably just shows where the comp's at, that we've probably finished with, a, I think, the same wins and probably a better percentage, but then missed out on percentage. So, no, it's a tight comp, and 
whoever probably shows up on the days, um, going to get the job done. Um, obviously, big challenge throughout your last week by New Norfolk, and uh, you were able to get the job done, but it must have been a pretty tough game. It was. Uh, they're a proud club, and I, don't, I think they certainly didn't want to lose, and they probably wanted to keep us out of the finals. Um, it was their last game, so... But on the positive side, it was a good game going into the finals. There's a tough battle down there. Um, we've had two tough games going in after a rest, so we're in good shape this week. Who do you anticipate some of the key players will be that you, your team will need to curb from Dodgers? Uh, they've also got a, a, a lot of experience around the footy and Cusick and Bullock. So we've got to win that battle in there. Um, young Dunn is uh, kicking a few goals in the forward line, so... We'll have to get that match up right and obviously Hunt down back took a lot of marks last time we played him and Sigurd's in the ruck so they've got some good players um, and we just got to probably use the ball a bit better away from Siggins and Hunt and those kind of blokes going forward. So, And your team this week, what do you think some of your strengths will be going into the game? Um, we've, got a, we've got a bit of experience around the footy as well so we want to really win that, that battle there. Got some good forwards to kick the ball to. Um, and our outside run that, um, you know, being a smaller ground, we've really got to focus on trying to get that going, so. That's good. Um, one quick question. Who would, who would you like to meet next week if, if you get over the line this week? Uh, either or, but I think just a purely a, a Hewan final, I reckon down at Hewan would be a really nice game to play, but... Claremont at Claremont, you'd take a, either of them, but a big a big hue and final would probably be something we'd look forward to. We welcome Nick Clayton from the Claremont Football Club. Um, Claremont playing Hewanville Lions in the qualifying final at Abbotsfield Park at 2pm on Saturday. Nick, first year in at Claremont after an extensive um, career at New Norfolk. How have you found the transition to a new club this year? Yeah, good mate. Um, they say change is good as a holiday, and um, I think it's re rejuvenated me a little bit. So, but um, yeah, they're a very welcoming club. They're a great, very passionate club. Um, it's well run, very good. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I started started well early and um, had the hamstring injury, which yeah, it's uncontrollable. So, but yeah, enjoying it, loving it. Yep. Um, the Pies form this year has been a little bit up and down, so how's the club going at this point here, end of the season, in respect to um, personnel back on the field? Yeah, mate, it's been a tough one. Um, injuries, you know, not that we're looking for excuses, but unfortunately, you know, we've had some, we've had some big injuries. You know, there at times we've had nine senior blokes out at once. Um, but here, here, here of late, the, uh, the coach of panels, like I think from this week, we had the 22, we haven't had to change it, you know, the first time in weeks. So it's really good. The coach of panels making it tough for them to make the decisions. So it's, yeah, looking pretty good. Who do your f team foresee as the biggest challenges in your opponent's side this week? Look, there's a few blokes there. You've got um, Lawler, young Shank, he's slippery as an eel, very quick. Um, Look, there's Lovell. They tell me Mickey Paul's back in town too, so we're playing close attention to him, stirring him up. But look, there's there's all of them. I rate them all highly. Any opponent we, we go to face. So look, if we put everything, all our structures in place, I'm sure we can get the job done, but we'll see tomorrow. Uh, Bowden, great game last week, 12 goals. Yeah, great game. Yeah, so um, I think he's ended up with 50-odd uh, plus goals, whatever it was. But uh, look, yeah, he's on song, the big fella. He's... Uh, Takes some big marks, kicks very nice kick of the ball. Yeah, so he's um, he's in good form. That's good to hear. Um, other good players that um, obviously Claremont have: Marty Allison, Jack Crossan, um, Braden Barwick. How are all those guys travelling? Really well. Um, uh, what was it? Bars, Barge um, hurt his knee. Uh, obviously against your Norfolk, so that was lingering on, on him a bit, but um, that's come right, thank God. He's put a lot of um, hard preparation into it. Um, Jack Crossan down back has been phenomenal. Set it up down there with the boys. Uh, Brad Barwick, he just gives you 100% every week. He's vital to our, to our success, so yeah, and all the other boys stepping up. Seal Cobden, head over the ball every week, so yeah, there's some good names there. And how's Foxy been going in the ruck since his return? Yes, brilliant, brilliant. He's just starting to get a bit of form back in. He got a bit of um, general soreness up through the legs there, just getting back into the swing of things as he didn't play till around seven or eight. So, 
he's been really good. Great leap, just getting around the ground. Yeah, so he should be coming in some good form. Um, yeah, it's been a, a good season, improvement on last year. Um, and obviously Claremont's going to be a tough challenge out there. We've had a couple of, both our games this year, of, the one at Hillville was three points, where they probably could have kicked us out a bit earlier, but um, we hung in there and was still a chance right to the, pretty much the last kick of the day. And obviously out there early in the year, I think it was only 10, 12 points that separated us, and it was pretty close most of the day. So um, we gave ourselves a chance. We are confident in, um, a little bit inconsistent of late, but yeah, last week was a good um, step forward, getting that consistency back in the last three quarters of the game last week. Obviously had a bit of a scare early in last week's game and uh, uh, had to chase home hard to clinch the victory. Yeah, well, Dodgers put the first seven on the board um, early into the second quarter. Um, I think we kicked six straight points, so we had a few chances, just couldn't quite um, nail them, so it was, we just stayed consistent in our messages and um, you know, eventually turned for us and we started to take our chances. Obviously accuracy in front of goal has been a bit of a challenge at times for the Lions this year. Um, how are you hoping to turn that around during the finals? Uh, yeah, well, we've done a bit of work on it. It's obviously a focus for our forwards to uh, try and sort that out. But yeah, it's just case by case. Uh, the guys wanting to take the chance and just owning it and trying to put it through. And are you welcome back to big guy this week, Mickey Paul? Yeah, Michael's back. Um, Is he fit? Well, he's he's lost a few kilos. I'm not sure if he's been doing much training, but <laughs> he, ha he has trimmed up. And uh, yeah, he's raring to go. Got him home a couple of days earlier, so he wasn't straight off the plane. Um, yeah, but he's, he's looking forward to it. Obviously, the leader of our footy club, and um, just a huge presence for us, you know, in his ability on the ground, but also just around the group. Is uh, yeah, it's he, great he, to have him back. He certainly polled very well in the Hill and News Award in the first six or seven weeks of the season. What about his injury? Uh, his finger's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's right to go. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's the least of his worries, I think. Okay. Um, who do you foresee as your um, players that you need to uh, curb? At Claremont? Um, well, probably the guys Nick mentioned and you mentioned before. On every line, they've got quality and, you know, bat pretty deep on all lines. So um, up forward, quite potent. Got guys can kick multiple goals, like Tyler, um, Luke Potter. Um, Nick hasn't played against us yet. So he's another one we'll have to um, try and manage um, through the midfield. Yeah, there's plenty through there, like Nathan and Marty Allison. Um, and then down back, they've got the guys who rebound really well and use the footy. So they've got every line covered, but um, we're confident in what we can bring to those matchups as well. So you'd say you're the underdog? Um, Do you think? Or you... Well, we finished underneath them, so I'm happy to take that, take that tag out there. Um, yeah, I mean, we lost a couple, less, uh, couple more games than them, so they're clearly just ahead of us at the moment. Because your form wasn't great, was it, leading into the finals? Let's, let's be honest there, apart from last week, after yeah. all the time. No, it was more inconsistent than anything, and credit to, I think, Lindisfarne and Hobart games, the only two games we haven't been in for the whole season. Um, so credit to them, but yeah, we were kind of inconsistent. We still had good patches in those games. Just, uh, yeah, but yeah, it was clearly inconsistent. and. Um, yeah, got some confidence back last week. You must be very pleased with the overall depth of the club this year, having both seniors and reserves in the qualifying final. Yeah, well, I think that's something we talked about in one of the early press conferences in the year, was the depth we had at the club. I think from the last final we played in 2015 in the seniors, I think there's only two guys tomorrow that played in that. So we've had a huge turnover of players um, but also that crop underneath of a few of the local guys um, who are really good twos players, push seniors have, have um, so we've got a really strong nucleus of, you know, there's probably 30 players who could play seniors and, and there's probably 50 at the club to pick from, you know, for seniors in reserve, so it's, yeah. It's a good rewarding yeah. situation to be in. Yeah. 
Um, all the best for the Huonville Lions for this week's qualifying final, and we wait with anticipation um, the results this weekend of both the qualifying and the elimination final. And we mustn't forget that this week also the commencement of the finals for the women's, where on Sunday both games down at Shark Park we have in the qualifying final South East Suns against Claremont and in the elimination final Lauderdale against North Hobart. So good luck to all the teams in this week's finals. Thanks Tony.